हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टेस्टिंग शाला यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टेस्ट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग हाउ वी डॉक्यूमेंट व्हेन वी आर डूइंग सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग दैट इज द द टॉपिक व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो so before proceeding further if you visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then please click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills so let's move on to understand so what all the different documentations we do when we perform software testing let us understand what kind of documentation do we really do when we are doing software testing in your project so i am going to talk about in detail documentation so what are the different types of test testing documentation we normally do when we are doing software testing in your project or an application let's go by one by one the first documentation we normally create are we do is the test strategy document the test strategy document will be developed for in a testing organization at the company level company level where we clearly define what are the strategy we perform for manual testing what are the strategy we perform for automation testing what is the strategy we use for performance testing or automation testing what are the tools being implemented the types of testing we do everything will clearly define in a test strategy this document we clearly define at the an organization level let's say your organization is having 10 projects then all the 10 project has to adhere to the test strategy being defined and they have to be considered test strategy as a viable for their test process projects and the the strategy is a top level document which we are going to define or which we are going to document in your testing project the next important document which we prepare in your testing project is test plan test plan is a subset of test strategy so basically it is test plan is going to inherit whatever it has been defined in the test strategy and test plan is more specific to a particular project this is more particular to the 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 project which you are going to execute the in the test plan we talk about what are the features being tested what are the features in scope what are the features are in out of scope what to test or what not to test then we talk about different types of testing will be performed and what are the entry and exit criteria for every testing phase how to sign up how to make a test closure report everything we clearly define in the test plan including our estimations resource planning infrastructure risk conditions everything will be documenting in the test plan that is a second deliverable or second test documentation which we create in software testing the third important document which we create in the software testing is recommend traceability matrix this is a document which will be used to trace back the all our testing back to the client recommends or end user recommends that is the main motto of this document to be created that is the purpose of recommend traceability matrix and third test document which we are going to create as part of the software testing then let's move on to the fourth important uh, test documentation which we create here is test scenarios so test scenarios are very high level uh, functionality we are going to write in single liners whenever we get a requirement or user story we create high level test scenarios or single liners to walk through with the pms and pos pos and pms just to ensure that we are testing appropriate uh, features or scenarios then we can detail it out as part of the test cases 
in test then let's move on to the sixth deliverable which we make here is test data test data because we need to test more of a production like data all the time and we should create a good amount of test data just to ensure that we are testing in a right environment with the right set of data which is normally being used by the client or customers as well so that we can with this data we should be able to catch all the issue, all the issues or defects which client is going to face when they are going to deploy in their environment that is the main purpose of test data because all these items which you are going to document it so that if tomorrow some issues comes from the client then definitely we can take this as a proof that we have done all the due diligence in creating all the evidences so that we can create a lesson learned in an appropriate manner if we do not have right data with the right documentation then it is difficult to prove ourselves whether we have really done or we have not done it so that is the main purpose to document everything in a software testing then the seventh documentation which we do here is defect or bug report as and when we find a issue when we are testing we will be logging the defect or a bug in the system that would give us a transparency because let's say if some issue has come from the client we can go back to the defect report and validate is a tester has been identified similar kind of defects earlier or is that defect has been low deprioritized or neglected so all the analysis we can do using this defect or bug reports and the documentation is very much needed and it is very much important then the last and not the least documentation which we do is test summary report or we can also call it as a test closure test summary report is nothing but what all the different kinds of testing we perform as part of the release what all the outcomes it has come both from the manual testing perspective automation the performance everything will be de uh, defining here including whether it has meeting test criteria uh, which is entry and exit criteria is been really meeting everything will be written writing in the final test summary report so i hope you understood all the eight test deliverables or test documentation which we normally follow in the software testing life cycle and these documents are very important uh, in nature and these documents would definitely help us to look back how things happened earlier and how can we groom ourselves by going through this document in the upcoming releases our kind of a lesson learned documentation i hope you clearly understood all the eight test documentation in software testing if you have visited first time the testing shala youtube channel then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care